What's the deal, Savages? Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Savage Studios. Today we got a hot one talking about Takashi Snitch 9. Now, for real, they call him Takashi 6ix9ine if you don't know about him. Uh, he was a pretty famous rapper, up and coming rapper, and uh, caused a lot of controversy, talking a lot of talking a lot of mess to other people, telling them to um, you know suck his uh, explanation deleted, you know. But uh, so, anyways, he's got a court date coming up soon, and basically, I'm just uh, I'm just trying to pick you guys' brain and see what you guys think will happen with him. Will he go into witness protection? Will the dude get out? You know, try to try to come out with a new single. Will he try to be a rapper again? I don't know. So let's get into it. If you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, drop a comment. And if you subscribe, hit that bell notification on the upper right by the subscribe button. That'll let you know when I got some other heat coming out pretty soon. Want to shout out to all my savages. God bless y'all. and I love you guys. Thank you for uh, growing the channel. You know, we just broke 13K. Much love. So let's get it. So yeah, guys, I don't know, uh, basically, whatever you guys think about this, because it's 2019 and shit's different. Shit didn't change, you know. People uh, can basically do what the fuck they want to do. They can testify on you. They can say whatever they want to say. They can bring down you and your homies, and then they can still be good, right? This is At least this is the big uh, cry that I hear from a lot of GP cats, you know, uh, that times will change. It's not like how it used to be. Wow, wow, wow. Cool. So I guess my question or my thoughts are, because I have a, I have a uh, specific thought on the matter with this whole Takashi Six Nine character, um, how I'm seeing it, man. Mark these words. He's getting out, or he's got this court date coming up. Um, I want to say later this later this year or early next year, and he could be potentially being released. It's almost positive that he's going to be released. Now this man was facing a whole lot of time. We're talking about life sentence, football numbers. You know what I mean? Big double digits. He took down, he gave up all his boys, gave up the whole crew, gave up everybody in his circle that was, you know, doing these moves and putting these moves together so he could get out of doing life sentence. He said, you know what? I love y'all. Y'all the homies. But I got to get out to my daughter, my family, whatever he's saying, right? Okay. So with that being said, what do you think the man will, should, and most likely is going to end up doing? Is he going to be a rapper still? Is he still going to come out and drop singles and tell people, other artists, that they can suck his whoop? Who knows? Is he going to go to witness protection, remove tattoos from his face? I'm going to tell you right now, they're pretty dark. And just to remove the ones that I've been removing, because I'm on my third session coming up here pretty soon. Um, and that shit hurts. So I don't think his tattoos will be fading away anytime soon. Um, what do you think? You know, do you think he'll be in witness protection? Do you think he'll be in a whole different type of uh, state, uh, hiding out under a different name, different alias, or whatever? Or do you think he might just try to be a regular citizen, not program, you know, not not program with the music industry, not try to make no more music, but still kind of be able to be found? I don't know. Let me know. Like I said, guys, drop a comment. I'm really interested to know. What your guys' ideas and thoughts are for this matter. Takashi 6 9 is not somebody that's not well known. He's he was a pretty famous artist. For some reason, he had a big impact on uh, you know, the younger high school generation, high school kids, skinny jean wearing motherfuckers, but he also had a way of tapping in with the blood community because he was claiming to be a blood. And uh, um, you know, he had a lot of backing by the Pyrus, by the bloods, or whoever, you know. I know he was not loved in LA. A matter of fact, uh Homies and Bloods, everybody wanted his ass. But I know that uh, in his within his organization, within that faction, you know, he had love shown to him. And of course, we all know why. You know, we know you had the money. We know you was making moves. We know you was, you know, had millions coming in. So yeah, you know, what entity wouldn't fuck with you? You know, who wouldn't fuck with you to try to get some some next level shit for the real uh, homies, the real reptiles, right? So. Like I was saying, guys, it's 2019, right? Things that would happen in the past don't happen anymore as far as accountability and people being able to be snuffed out and shut up and, and let's, 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 let's uh, uh, put some concrete shoes on him and throw his ass in the river. Not saying it can't still happen, just saying it's less likely to happen and it probably only is going to happen for some high profile uh, motherfucker, right? Um... But nevertheless, in 2019, a lot of stuff is happening. A lot of people have voices. Uh, a lot of uh, entities are growing. A lot of rules are broken, and they've been broken for a while. 
and there's not really a lot of accountability and there's not really a lot of uh, repercussion. No one's catching this uh, blowback, really. Not saying it can't happen, so stay humble and always look over your shoulder because you just never know. You know what I mean? And if you stay ready, you ain't never got to get ready. Remember that. But, uh, you know, to get off that topic, uh, I think my personal opinion, I, I think he's going to drop some more music. I think he's still got a big portion of his audience. And I, let's say he lost uh, a quarter of his fans. Anyone outside of California, you know what? Okay, hold on. Better yet. What he did is a worldwide known no-no, right? That's not cool in any fucking part of the world. But California politics the hardest. We all know that. And I know, and I'm sure every Cali artist out there is going to gun for him. And every Detroit artist is going to gun for him. Every uh, Louisiana, ATL, any other place on the map artist is going to gun for him. So I don't know how he's going to do in the music industry. But nevertheless, that's we, we talking about artists. As far as fans go, as far as his following goes, the dude could sit at home, record over a studio hidden somewhere where you ain't never going to find the motherfucker, right? Drop a single, and it's, it's going to go. And it's going to go past these other artists. And it's going to go past politics. It's going to go past this this conception and, and and my question to you guys is one good question I got for you guys and this is gonna be pretty fucking interesting. What do you think that means for politics, gang banging, and the culture in general? If he comes back, gets out after testifying on his whole squad, drops a single, the shit goes platinum, and dude is back on the map. What what does that mean? You know, better yet, what does it mean if the artist that you fuck with Start fucking with him again. How are you going to feel? Are you going to question maybe, you know, the artist that you listen to? Or do you already kind of know that the industry is watered down anyways? It's not even about that life. And it ain't been about that life since old West Side Connection days. And even in West Side Connection days, I'm pretty sure real gang members. Uh, I remember uh, Monster Cody had done an interview and he basically came out and was like, man, Ice Cube ain't even a real gangster. You know, he was never... You know, ain't, ain't nothing. Yeah, we all know he didn't game bang, but he, not only did he not game bang, but he, he just wasn't about that life. So there's little things like that. But, hey, we all know it was turned up back in those days. Uh, you know, that's when that's when shit was at the pinnacle and, and only on the decline, declining. Uh, so that's just one question I got for you guys. What do you really think would it what, what, what it would mean? I'm sorry. What it would mean to the culture of game banging, politicking. Um, hip hop music, gangster rap. If he gets out and picks it up like nothing ever happened, that, my friends, is what I think. That's my guess, right? My guess. Now, I, I feel you. I know I'm gonna get a lot of blowback on this one. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, "Hey, man, you way off the mark. You know, you crazy as hell for thinking this, or you crazy as hell for thinking that." But like I said, man, each individual man, woman, anybody, even a you know minor, whatever, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I gave you my opinion. I'm interested in hearing yours because this Takashi Six Nine character was very controversial, very controversial in the rap game. You know, he was so controversial because what he did was he assaulted every other artist that didn't like him verbally, but he didn't just assault them by saying, "Hey, man, when I see you, it's on sight. I don't like you." Now nah, his whole thing was. F you, suck my bleed, do this, do that. Sorry, guys, I got I to gotta kind of keep it a little PG for the YouTube. But his whole thing was an attack, a full-on assault on your character, manhood, honor, respect as a gang member. Uh, whatever you was a part of, you know, he assaulted you for that, and, and for going against him. And, uh, you know, now he's sitting, now he's sitting where he's sitting, and uh, no one's really heard from him lately. No one's really, I know I checked, I know he's got a court date coming up. And I just thought this would be a good topic to bring up because you got so many channels talking shit saying uh, PC this, PC that, GP this. I'm pretty sure this cat is in PC right now up in wherever he's uh, in jail at. I, I really ain't done no research. I don't really care about the dude like that. I just think it's an interesting topic because uh, this dude could potentially break a whole nother barrier within the hip hop culture and... Uh, um, and life saying snitches get stitches. Now don't 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 mistake this shit. 
I do not condone snitching. Snitching does get snitches. They deserve snitches. That's just how it is. And a lot of people are gonna say, well, if you was PC, you was a snitch. Nah, brother, we, we got the we got the whole misconception going on of the word snitch. You put your own twist on the word snitch. If you testifying, if you saying something is bringing down your neighborhood, your homies, the prison gang you was a part of, anything like that. If you doing anything and giving any info to directly impact or even affect the next individual, even slightly, then you will snitch. If you're doing something for yourself that gets you in a different position than you were just in without giving anybody up or hurting anybody or even affecting them in the slightest, then you just a dropout. You just ain't a part of that. Or you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. You could you could throw a thousand different names on it, but just don't say it's a snitch, bro. Come on, do your homework, bro. You don't know what a snitch is. But regardless, I get it. You know you want to be like a military expert. So what happens? Let me ask y'all. The motherfuckers was really tripping. 6 9 gets out, drops a hit, got the whole world, got all his fans following him, riding his coattail just like before, singing all his annoying ass fucking songs, loud as hell. you like, alright, it's cool, whatever, fuck him, you know, the world's going to shit, the end of the world's coming, right? For you super actives, right? The end of the world's coming, cool. But then, you find out that he's doing a, a track with your favorite artist or someone that you listen to, then what? Are we gonna start going back to oldies? You ain't gonna listen to no more rappers or what? You gonna start listening to oldies again? Gonna be some rock? <laughs> nah, man, I ain't trying to troll nobody. Listen, man, I'm just trying to get an honest opinion. I poke a little fun here and there. You know what I mean? I like to make light of the situation because in my eyes, if you free and you taking a lot of this shit so serious, then you still in a cell in your mind, right? So just relax, make a cup of coffee. You know, me and my savages, you know, we drink coffee, you know? And if we don't drink coffee, we, we exchange that shit with some. We work out, drink energy drinks, drink water. I don't give a damn, but we sipping. You know what I mean? We chilling. We free. So just say, hey, random topic. I know it's a, I know it's going to be pretty controversial come like six or seven more months tops. You know, this is going to be all over the news, all over TMZ. So I just wanted to cover it real quick, basically let you guys know and say my piece, which I honestly believe he will get out, he will relocate, he will drop a single, but he will be a different type of artist. He will not be the same kind of artist that he was before. I think he's going to let that gangster rap shit go, and I think he's going to go more clubby, more party type anthem, and who knows, within five or ten years, they may just forget all about his whole story. So, like I said, if you like this video... Then go ahead and turn it up with that like button. Go ahead and uh, um, subscribe and drop a comment. The most important thing here is I want a fucking comment. I want to hear what you guys say. I'm not even going to sell out for a bunch of thumbs ups. Just drop a comment and let me know what you guys think. Period. If you're going to talk shit, then your brain is small and shriveled up. Come on. We can talk shit on another video. Go find one of my old videos. I'm pretty sure there's some old videos that I threw out there where you can diss me all day long. But let's just, you know, let's just conversate. All right, then. Until then, my, my savages, stay up. Much love, respect, God bless, doses.